Big gold. There you go. <laughs> he liked that bait too. Do not bring it up on my side. I said, do you have fun with that? Hmm? Don't break the rod. <laughs> what do you think? Garballs? <laughs> <laughs> he gonna try to get me, ain't he? Be nice. We don't want anybody upset. We're doing dental work. <laughs> I don't want him to get me with them teeth. That is actually not a long bill, Gar. He's a I think we'll take him and make some guard balls out of him. <laughs> All right, we went white perch fishing today. Caught a few white perch, but we also caught this. So I'm going to show y'all. We're going to skin him real quick, get the meat off of him, cook it up for supper, show y'all how we're going to do it. I got this big heavy knife. Got some scissors here. I'm gonna go right down that. I've seen people use uh, different things right here, like tin snips, shears, and I've also seen them take a hatchet. But I've I've dressed a couple of them, and I just like to take some scissors or either some shears and just open them up good. If you can run that in there. Just keep. Cutting it open. It's pretty hard. Take some tin shears, do the same thing, but we're just gonna use these meat scissors, what I call them. Down to about right there. It's gonna be so small down there, it ain't gonna really matter anyways. I'm gonna cut that all the way around both sides right there like that go to peeling that skin back right there on both sides a little bit I'm going to spin it around here where I can Work it from this side. Take it just like that. Turn that knife up in there and get it started coming off of there right there. If it was a bigger one, I'd use 10 snips or something besides that and scissors. But them scissors will work fine on these smaller ones. Alright. Now. We got it going. So we peel it right on off of there. Off of them tenderloins. You got a little loin on each side of this. 
opening him up. You could peel the whole thing out, but I just want these back sections out. So I'm just coming just to the side of that backbone, go down and hit them ribs all the way down, peel that meat right off of there. I don't do a lot of gar, so it's not like I'm going to be the fastest person at doing this so I'm sure I'll get some comments and things about should have done it this way and that way but that's okay we're just gonna do it the best as we can get that get that little fillet tenderloin I call them get that tenderloin out of there right there it's like taking a back strap out of a deer There they are. I'm gonna cut this up into some little nuggets. And you can see right here, um, gar can get a little tough once it gets cold after you cook it. You can see this grain's running this way. I'm gonna cut this in some little nuggets across the grain. Kind of little long nuggets. Like it right there. There it is. Now you can fry that up and eat it, but we're gonna fry this up and make a little crawfish gravy and put on it. It's gonna be good. Y'all check this out. All right, we're cooking supper. I'm gonna cook this gar up. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna cook it. We didn't have a, a lot. This is the little pieces we cut up. We got some crawfish. We got some Holy Trinity. We got two medium-sized tomatoes, fresh tomatoes, and about a cup of flour. We're just gonna make like a, this is almost gonna be an etouffee. I'm just gonna call it a crawfish gravy because we're just gonna brown a little gravy in it. We got a little chicken broth. We got our garlic, we got some mustard. We got the Uncle Chris's, we're gonna use it tonight. Uncle Chris's steak seasoning, this is a Fiesta brand. And we also got the Fiesta brand um, Texas style steak seasoning. It's a red type seasoning. And I actually am starting to like this pretty good. It's got a little more salt in it, I think, than this. So seasoning fish and stuff like that, this actually is pretty good. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna go ahead and put a little mustard on our gar, just a little bit. We're gonna put the, I always like to shake this up because it seems to settle in the bottom a little bit. So I always shake it up. We'll put a little bit of that on there. I'm gonna stir that up in just a minute. Well, we'll go ahead and mix our, oh, we got one stick of butter that's gonna go in all this. We'll go ahead and mix up this fish fry mix. We just got our yellow cornmeal mix. It's what we always use to fry our fish, or most of the time, unless we're doing the flour recipe. Got Oakley over there squeaking toys. I'm gonna put a little bit of this red steak seasoning in there too tonight instead of Tony's. Um, I don't think it's got quite as much salt as Tony's, so trying to cut back a little bit on that. As y'all can tell, I put a ton of it in there. Kind of sub, sub the garlic for the salt, put a lot of garlic in our stuff. I'm gonna throw a little bit on this gar over here too. I'm gonna stir this up, let that sit for a few minutes, and it'll be ready to mix up and fry. We got some more fish. We're gonna fry some buffalo ribs and stuff, but y'all done seen that in some videos, so. All right, we got a stick of butter going in. We'll get that going. Got our Trinity going in. That's just a store mix. I didn't have time to cut it up tonight. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna saute these vegetables real good. And about the time they get sauteed, we brown them a little bit, kind of get them caramelizing. We're gonna throw our tomatoes in there and cook those just for a few minutes. All right, our vegetables have started 
brown in a little bit, we're gonna go ahead and add our tomatoes in there so they kind of cook. I like to cook that acid out of them tomatoes just a little bit. We are gonna use just a little bit of oil. Put just a little bit in there. We'll make a correction right here. We cut this back to half a cup of flour. I said a cup, but we, we're not making a, a big pot of etouffee or anything. We're just making a little gravy, so we cut this back to half a cup. Go ahead and add our crawfish in there, too. Let that be cooking. Now. Season that up a little bit with that Texas style steak seasoning. Use Tony's, whatever you want. We'll also add a little bit of garlic to it. It's not our etouffee recipe, so I'm just calling the crawfish gravy tonight. Or crawfish tomato gravy. I guess you could put your gar in that, whatever. But I like to fry my fish and then pour this over. I just like that texture, so that's what we're gonna do with this gar tonight. All right, we got our gar. Already cooked some of our other fish. We'll put it in our meal, mill it up good, and go put them in there. It's almost like Chick-fil-A nuggets right there. All right, y'all can see right there, them, them gar nuggets is already trying to float right there. So they done. All right, y'all check this out. We got our gar nuggets right there. I'm gonna put me by five or six or eight of them on that rice right there. We'll take that crawfish gravy, etouffee, whatever you want to call it. Pour that on that right there. You gotta have some rice in Louisiana. Look at there. I just like that crunchy texture. I'm gonna try this. Mm. That's pretty good right there. I'm gonna try one without anything on it. Pretty good stuff. That's all right right there. That's gonna make supper. Tell y'all what, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you hadn't already. Like and share the videos, appreciate the views, the comments, the likes, shares. That's going to be it for this one, God's Country Hunting and Fishing, keeping it real.